Blackjack. Many call it the Achilles heel of casinos. And when I say many, I mean no one really. Just me. But it's kind of true. If there is one game where players can actually beat the casino if they learn to play it right, that is Blackjack. There is a well-known story about a team of students from MIT that managed to do just that and earn millions as a result. They even made a movie about them called 21. That's when I thought, if a bunch of college students can do it, then it will be a piece of cake for my AI army. And so my journey to build an AI that learns to play blackjack begins. First, we need to create our environment. I'm using Unity because of the variety of assets that exist. This way I can save a lot of time and focus more on building my AI. In order to play blackjack, we need a table, some chips, and of course playing cards. On this table, we will have the dealer and only one player, which is going to be our AI agent. Instead of creating the player and the dealer hands each time a new game begins, I keep the entire deck available on the scene. I simply hide it from the camera's view and change the positions of the cards being used each game. This approach will help increase the speed of the simulation and therefore reduce the time required for the AI to train. As you can see, during the training sessions we are keeping track of the number of games played, the win percentage which is basically how many times the player won over all the games so far, the available balance of the player where I give the AI around 100,000 in AI money in order to play comfortably without having to worry about running out of, um, well, money. I also include a chart of the win percentage over time. And finally, we monitor how the AI plays by counting the number of times it chose to hit, stand or double down. If you don't know what any of these terms mean, then what are you doing here, mate? <laughs> I'm just kidding, you don't have to know anything to watch this video, but if you want to learn how blackjack is played, there are plenty of resources out there, so feel free to pause the video and come back later. I'll wait, go on. Okay, great. Now that all the noobs are gone, we can continue. After digging around, I discovered that the probability of winning a hand in blackjack is around 42%. So the first goal of our AI is to reach that percentage. The ultimate goal though is to achieve a percentage greater than 50% which will actually allow the AI to win money just like in the movie. In order to simplify the game as much as possible, I initially allowed the AI to either hit or stun. No doubling down, splitting or any other move. And the bet is fixed to $2. Each game the AI receives 5 inputs. The hand of the player, the visible hand of the dealer, the amount of money won in the last 100 games, the amount of money lost in the last 100 games, and finally, the infamous card count. I gave the AI the ability to count cards to improve its chances of winning the game. When it's time to play, the AI can either hit or stand, as I already said. I purposely chose not to include options like splitting, insurance and other stuff like that to limit the complexity of the game. By the end of each game, I give a reward to the AI if it wins and a penalty if it loses. Pretty simple stuff. After some intensive coding, hours of failed attempts and a few tears, the game and the AI are ready to go. I will run the training simulation for around 100,000 games. Let's see what happens. After 100,000 games, the AI stabilizes and the results are actually not that bad. Although it lost around $20,000, it actually managed to surpass the win probability by achieving an overall win percentage of 43.22%, which oddly enough is exactly 1% above from what it's supposed to be. Hmm, interesting. One eternity later. 
I tried tweaking the reward signals, the observations of the AI and even the neural network itself to try to increase that win percentage, but unfortunately it wouldn't patch. That's why I decided to take a different approach. If I can't increase the win percentage, I can make each of those games count more by allowing the AI to generate more money from successful bets. To achieve that, I introduce a new option to the table called Double Down. This blackjack move allows the AI to double its bet when it's more confident that it's going to win. Let's see what happens. Okay, we're now at 100,000 games. Let's investigate and see what happened. Excuse me. What the f- oh My god, he actually loses money. 10,000 more than before. And it performs even worse. So you're telling me that all those hours spent on training were for nothing? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's try something different. I want to make the AI a little bit more greedy. This time, instead of focusing on winning, I tell the AI to focus on making money. I do that by introducing additional rewards every few games based on the amount of money that it managed to make so far. Hopefully, this will work. Let's see what happens. Right, we're back at 100,000 games. Let's take a look. Okay, so it seems that the AI improved slightly. It didn't earn money, but at least it lost $1,000 less this time. I continued tweaking the AI and tried several other techniques, but nothing seemed to work. I eventually became frustrated and decided that this version of the AI was good enough for now. But before I call it quits, I decided to create a simple heuristic algorithm that plays the game in a similar manner than that of the dealer. The reason for this was to establish a baseline and see how much better my AI was going to be, just in case I came back to try again in the future. So what happened? Well, <laughs> mother f How? How? How is this shitty algorithm that took me like 5 minutes to write performing so much better than my AI? 47 win percentage, and the balance remains around the initial amount of money. You disappoint me. Anyway, that's it for now. Maybe I'll make a part 2 where I will introduce some other options like splitting, insurance and other stuff like that, and see if it actually improves the performance of the AI. If you are interested in seeing a part 2, let me know in the comments below. No promises though. By the way, do you guys like these videos? If you want me to continue making them, drop a like and subscribe and let me know in the comments below about what project you want me to do next. I try to make these videos as much fun as possible and at the same time uh, show possible applications of the, the AI in the real world. So uh, I quite enjoy these videos and if you like and subscribe that tells me that you like these videos as well. So yeah, for now I'll continue making them but I would really appreciate it if you actually like the videos and share them with your friends. And yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Um, okay, bye.